Hey guys, it's Carson Miller Tech here, back with another video, and in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Kamika CVM WM100 Plus microphone system, which is a huge mouthful to say, but basically what this is, is a dual lav wireless mic system. So this is perfect for people that will be having guests in videos or will be shooting interviews and want to hide your microphone when micing up people. So basically, I'm just gonna be unboxing this, testing it out, and also comparing it to a microphone that I tested out, I think two years ago now, and be comparing it to that, and then also be offering some of my opinions at the end of this video. With that being said, I do wanna say just here up front that Kamika did send me this product for free, but they're by no means paying me to say anything in this video. So if by the end of the video, I find that this microphone sucks or something, I will definitely be letting you know. But with that being said, let's get right into the unboxings, then we can get to testing it out after that. So taking a look here at the front of the box, it does show an image of the two transmitters and the receiver on the sides. It just gives a little bit of information about the microphones on the back. It does as well, and on the side it just says that it's compatible with these things. It has a carrying case. So starting here with the smaller pocket inside of this, you will find the little wind guard and pull. So there's that, and a second one. Taking a look here at the microphones itself, it does have a nice locking 3.5 millimeter jack, so you won't have to worry about this ever like just coming undone randomly while you're in a shoot. So you shouldn't have to deal with microphone just dropping out, which that would kind of stink. The microphone itself, I would have to say, is quite large. It's kind of larger than most lapel microphones that you see out there, but we will see how that helps with its performance. On the other side, you will find a XLR cable to three and a half millimeter. This is for plugging into your receiver and you can then plug this into an XLR recorder or even into your camera if your camera has an XLR input on it. Next up is the belt clips. It comes with three for every single one of the packs, so you won't have to worry about not having enough for each of them. So these do offer the capability of plugging into a external power source and being powered off of that, so that's why they have this. Finally, the three and a half millimeter to three and a half millimeter cord. Now in the larger pocket of this holder, you will find some directions. First up in the bottom here is the receiver, and you can tell this is the receiver because of the two antenna that it has on top here. On this itself, you will see its screen, the power button, a set button, which is just to like select things on the menus when you're going through them, a plus and a minus button, and then on top, you'll find the output, the monitor output, two signal indicators for the microphones, just to make sure that you got signal going into this, and then on the back, you will find that it has a typical quarter 20 mounting point. Opening this, you will find where the batteries go in. Sadly, this does not come with any batteries in the box, so you will have to go and get some of your own. Now looking here at the two transmitters, this looks pretty similar to the receiver. So this has all the same buttons, but this one just has RF and IR. Here on the top, you will find the mic in. And you can also put a line in, so this is kind of interesting if you want to put in some other audio source that is not just from the microphones, you can do that and not have to worry about it being too high of a gain through the microphone input. On the back you'll find the same quarter 20 and also the same style of battery pouch. The other transmitter is exactly the same, so they match up and you don't have to worry about them being all different. Lastly you will see here that it has a cold shoe to a quarter 20 adapter so this will allow you to go and mount this receiver right here onto the top of your camera. Yeah so that is pretty much it for this. Let's go now and pack everything back up get outside and get to testing these microphones out. So here we go, now is the time I will be giving you some microphone tests to let you know how this truly sounds. So I do have two other microphones that I will be putting this up against. I have the Rode Video Micro, which is just the standard microphone that I usually use in like all my videos. So if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know what that sounds like. I'll also be comparing it to the Purple Panda Lav microphone, which I checked out like two years ago now, and this is just a budget microphone that is also a lav mic. It is connected into my iPhone, which is in my pocket, and then also, of course, the Kamika. So that is just connected directly to the camera, and the Rode is also connected directly to the camera. The setup kind of looks a little ridiculous right now, and I myself kind of look a little crazy with so many microphones on me, but it is just for the purpose of testing what this sounds like right now. So, 
now that I am here, I've been speaking for a while, I'm sure I've been switching between some of the microphones. But just to give you some general information about this, as I said before, it has a pretty long distance that it is capable of working. So I'm gonna be testing that in just a little bit. But as for right now, just turning around and projecting my voice in different directions, you can see that in comparison to the Rode Video Micro, which is a shotgun microphone more or less, is a microphone that is meant more for direct exposure. So it really only works best when you're up close like this and if you're standing right in front of the camera. So this is more useful if you're vlogging often or you just want to sit your camera down, don't touch it, and you don't wanna to have to worry about other microphones. But with these lav microphones, you're able to move yourself away, turn in different directions, and the audio still continues to sound good. So from this distance right now, I'm probably getting now to 40 feet away from the camera, so not super far. But at this point, I hope that the microphones both here sound great. But I'm sure the Rode video microphone probably does not. I'm not even sure if you were able to hear that. But just moving back even further, I'm starting to look like a distant ant. <laughs> but uh, in comparison to the Purple Panda and the Kamika, this should sound pretty decent considering the Purple Panda is connected to my phone and so that's wireless and also the Kamika is connected to my camera. I'm going to walk to the other side of my property. You may not even be able to see me by the time that I'm all the way over there. I'm just gonna be pushing this to its limits just to see how well it fares with long distance transmission of the signal. I'm gonna see, I'm not gonna be able to hear once this actually begins breaking up if it does, but if it does, you'll be able to hear it. So I'm just gonna continue talking and begin walking away. I think I'm gonna be able to get to the property line at least. I mean, I would hope that's about, I would say 150, 200 feet away from the camera. And then I'm gonna walk just a little bit further just into my neighbor's yard. And hopefully you'll be able to still hear me at that point. As you can see, still right here. <laughs> um, the transmitter is uncovered right now. I moved my jacket so then that's not covering it. I mean, some clothing covering it shouldn't have any effect on it, but I am still walking away. Here's just a little test of the purple panda, just to give you another reference of what this sounds like again. But I am now at our property line. I'm not even sure you can see me at this point. Let me move over. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see me, but I'm over here. And this is probably, I would say, 150 feet to 200 feet away from the camera. One thing with this transmitter that I will show right now is that you can go and mute it directly with just one single click of a button on the transmitter itself. This can be a downside if you accidentally hit it, but you can lock the controls, so then it's not just simple to mute it all the time. But if you do want to mute it, you just press the power button once. And now this is going through Purple Panda because you can't hear me. But it then turns off the audio and stops transmitting the signal. So if you're in a private conversation or something and you don't want the camera to pick it up, you can mute it. So just turning that back on, I'm going to unmute. There we go. You should be able to hear me now through the Kamiko again. I'm going to continue walking a little bit further into my neighbor's yard. This will truly be now pushing it to its uh, far range. I'm going to just turn around so then the receiver and the transmitter can still get direct line of sight. At this point, I am definitely over 200 feet away. And so this is still should be within its range considering it has a max range of 400 feet. So this is probably about the farthest I'm going to go right now because I don't want my neighbors to walk out and be like, what are you doing in my lawn? So I'm going to return and hopefully this has picked up the audio the entire time. Hopefully it hasn't turned out cutting out. There's literally nothing around here that could be interfering with it. So hopefully it's been all good. This microphone, a couple things that I like about it. Uh, like I said, it does have those locking three and a half millimeter cable points, which I would have to say is actually incredibly convenient. I accidentally dropped the setup that I have on top of my camera and the Kamika managed to stay plugged into the device itself and didn't like ruin the port by yanking that out. So that was good. Yeah, but anyways, now that you've listened to my voice, probably far beyond what you were hoping to listen to it today, let's get to Future Carson and what he has to say about the performance of this, and also to add on just a couple more things about the Kamika microphones before ending off this video and giving you my final opinion of whether or not I think this is worth it. So, let's get to Future Carson. Here I am. <laughs> 
Future Carson here, and after I have listened to these microphones, after editing this entire video, I've come to the conclusion that I do believe that the Kamika microphones are pretty decent. I have not been able to use both at once, so that's the only thing that I basically haven't done with this so far, but with what I have done, really quite been satisfied with what I got out of this. Of course, in the long distance testing, there was some interference there where it did go and drop out a little bit. So there was that issue, but when are you ever really that far away from your camera that you need that full distance? I'm not really sure, but having that large distance is nice and helpful for if you do happen to be slightly further away from your camera than average, but when you are close up, you should be perfectly fine with the distance that it supports. One thing that I haven't mentioned yet about the microphones is the build quality of it. This is a plastic body and that may worry some people, but for me, I don't really see that being that big of an issue as I do only use these a couple of times a week and they don't really have to be put through too much. And also this plastic already is actually seemingly quite sturdy. So you shouldn't have to worry about the build quality if you're worried about it being plastic. I think considering the price of this, this is an amazing build quality of this product. So I think you shouldn't have to be worried about that. So in the end, would I recommend this microphone system? It honestly depends on you. If your budget is in the mid range and you're looking for a microphone system that has lav mics, I think this may be your solution. However, I know there are a lot of other solutions out there, so I'm not gonna say this is the best solution, especially for the sound quality. There are better sounding microphones. Me personally, I still think I might have actually preferred the purple panda sound over this, but make sure to let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys thought of the microphones. But with that being said, if you would like to purchase this, I'll be leaving a link to purchase it down in the description below. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below. And if you'd like to see future videos from me, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. If you'd like to see my last video, that should be up there and some random videos should be down there. But anyways, that is it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace.